Hi there, it's Mr. Clark. Welcome to lesson 10.2.3 on 3 against 2 polyrhythms with 16th notes. Uh, one thing I do want to note is normally if you're seeing this in math class, it's a ratio, it's 3 to 2. Still a ratio here because we're having 3 notes and 2 notes fit into the same amount of space. Uh, usually when we're speaking this, we say 3 against 2 uh, is the typical musical way to say these polyrhythms. So here, we're going to be looking at the 3 against 2 polyrhythm. We looked at it um, like this, that's the bass form. Now we're going to add some 16th notes to it. We can already do 8th notes, like that's how we learned it. Um, but now we're adding 16th. So there are two ways that I think about this. One is to start from the base of 16th note sextuplet. And then just changing where I put the accents. So I figured out exactly the right speed of the notes. Now I just shift where the accents are. And that shows me that it should line up exactly here. I'm not thinking too hard about it. I'm thinking more about putting the accents in the right places, and then that should just happen to fall correctly. But it's a good check if it's not. The other way to think about it is by continuous subdivision. Da, 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 So really just feeling where those are and then just subdividing within it. And if you're able to do one, not the other, practice the other one until it feels as natural. Again, with these polyrhythms, we want to practice feeling them different ways so that we can employ them in different contexts. That's what I got for now. See you next time.